Hey everyone, PK here. In this episode, we'll talk about how you can take just $50,000 of your hard-earned money, invest it in Australian property, and double it. Just 50, you don't need 80, 90, 100, just 50, $55,000, and get a 2X return on your money. And by the way, I'm just in Amman in Jordan. This is the airport from the lounge up above. We're just on a family holiday. We've just gone from Jagannath Puri in India to Delhi here in Amman. We're just going to Cairo, going on a Nile cruise, going to Abu Dhabi, Dubai till the end of the year. Um, so I've just got like three hours right now to kill. So I thought, why not do this episode? And by the way, people in Amman, oh my God, they're so nice. Like, I don't know what to expect, but people here are so pious so sweet so gentle and really caring i love this country i didn't know what i would make of it but i absolutely love jordan we went to petra we went to so many different locations put it on your bucket list but let's get to it all right so if you've got fifty thousand dollars you might think hey that's not really enough to buy property right especially if you're in sydney or melbourne you're probably like how on earth can i do that but seriously take 50k and let's say you invest it in a place like south australia or let's say queensland queensland has very small stamp duties relatively speaking compared to other states and territories so you carve out of that 50k let's say fifteen thousand dollars for like legal fees which might be a thousand dollars you know stamp duty etc so you've got like thirty five thousand dollars left after all your like transaction costs which are quite large in australia unfortunately all right so thirty five thousand dollars you can buy a property between three and three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for just that thirty five thousand dollars you know let's say you put down a ten percent deposit i like to put down at least twelve percent deposit that seems to be the sweet spot in terms of not having to pay too much lenders mortgage insurance if you pay less than 20 percent deposit you have to pay something called lenders mortgage insurance but you don't actually have to pay that to like the bank that actually gets capitalized onto your loan your loan just gets bigger but it allows you for the price of two or three thousand dollars an extra loan remember not cash but extra loan which is tax deductible anyway to get into the real estate market so for thirty five thousand dollars you can get something between three hundred and three fifty thousand dollars and the fifteen thousand dollars balance thirty five up to fifty pays all your entry costs okay and so there you have it you have a property worth three to three fifty thousand dollars for just fifty thousand dollars of your own deposit languishing in a savings account making you what four percent or something like that don't mind the airport announcements by the way all right so where should you buy this all right i already gave you some hints there like place like townsville in in regional queensland you know if you buy somewhere in townsville not anywhere and of course it's not just suburb selection that's important it's actually street and property selection which is just as important you can do that all on your computer looking at both quantitative and qualitative data factors using local on the ground property managers for free to do a lot of that due diligence on the ground you know know how you can buy something in Townsville or regional South Australia, like up past Adelaide, north of Adelaide, north of Gaul, a few other places in Nuratpa, like we're looking at at the moment, not necessarily Nuratpa actually. And you can buy these places and they are likely to go up, you know, bar any significant shock to the economy, they're likely to go up at least double digit capital growth in the next one year in the next 12 months now that seems very spooky oh like this is property spooker saying invest in townsville and so then you're gonna get like this huge return i'm honestly like my opinion doesn't matter nor does yours all right opinions are subjective what we're actually seeing in terms of the data all the data factors 30 to 35 they're lining up they have been for townsville for quite a long time and all these suburbs have or many of them have actually been growing at at double digit growth rates so if the data stays where it is which it is this growth rate is likely to continue now that doesn't mean it's going to go up forever at the same rate but right now the data is suggesting it so let's say you buy something for 350k right and it goes up double digits 10 percent let's say conservatively and so that is on 350k thirty five thousand dollars let's wait 18 months okay that goes up 50 sixty thousand dollars that's a hundred percent return on your initial fifty percent fifty thousand dollars including entry cost transaction cost that's a hundred percent return in under 18 months now of course that could be more that could be less but i'm trying to illustrate a point that if you've got fifty thousand dollars in the bank 
do something with it. Okay, this is not financial advice. Of course, you can keep it there if you want. But if you want to retire early, if you want to create passive income to get out of the rat race, you have to do something, okay? You can't just leave it in the bank account. Even if interest rates go up by one or two or 3% more, still the bank account is going backwards relative to the rate of inflation. And interest rates haven't really made a dent on Townsville property prices or Perth property prices or even Brisbane property prices in the last six months, 12 months in regional Queensland, even for the last three years. So why not do this? And here's the kicker. It doesn't cost you much to hold or anything to hold. I know people talk about Townsville, oh, it's like really expensive in terms of insurance rates, council rates. Yes, that's true. Like, let's be honest. Okay, if you get a 7.5% yield, you, that is actually like a 65 or close to 7% yield after you take into consideration the extra transaction costs. Sorry about that noise, by the way. All right, after you take into consideration the additional premium insurance costs, the additional council rates, but still net after that additional premium of insurance rates compared to other locations in Australia, especially if you use like sure insurance, etc., you're still getting six, six and a half percent yield, gross yield. So that property is almost paying for itself. It's almost paying for itself, if not paying for itself. On an 88% LVR, it's probably costing you a couple of grand, three grand maybe a year to hold. So it goes up $50,000 in the next 18 months. It costs you two or $3,000 to hold. And then in a year's time, two years time, three years time, interest rates come down. By the way, rents are going up double digits in Townsville. Rents go up, you know, 20, 30, $40 every six months or every 12 months. That property pays for itself very, very quickly. And in the meantime, you've enjoyed capital growth. So, I mean, that is literally how to take, I've just kind of given you the synopsis there. That's how to take $50,000 and double it in the next 12 to 18 months. Get into the Australian real estate market. If you're in Sydney, Melbourne, you're probably thinking, I can't do that here. And you're damn right, you can't do that in Sydney, Melbourne, but you can do it interstate. Now, if you use a buyer's agent, that 50 all of a sudden becomes 65 or 70. You don't need that to buy in a place like Townsville. So simple if you follow data, if you have the right team, and you actually are interested in creating wealth for yourself. This is not a part-time job, right? This is something you can do on the side, you know, husband, wife, or whatever it is, working, couple of kids, you can do this on the side. Last thing I wanna say is that property investing does not impact your lifestyle negatively. I mean, not that I'm some sort of messiah or anything, far from it, but I have 12 properties and basically for the last six weeks of this year, since November 13 to the end of the year, we're traveling around the Middle East and India. So, you know, how long does it take me to invest in how long does it take me to manage these properties it takes me about two hours a month honestly 12 properties uh two hours a month so if you apply what i've just said do it yourself you don't have to do it with me do it yourself right you can then scale it you can see okay let me do what pk is suggesting let me just try it one time if it works let me then rinse and repeat the next thing you know five years later you've got five properties or six years later you've got three properties or ten years later you i'm just making numbers up right ten properties what whatever it is right not that it's a competition or a game or anything like that but try to do something okay and you don't have to build that $50,000 deposit yourself every time the equity does it for you. But that's another story. Anyway, I'll just leave it there. But look, this is Amman um, Airport. This is, this is not a third world country. This is such a beautiful country, such a beautiful airport, such a beautiful people. And I really recommend you guys check out Amman. I'm not getting paid to say that, by the way. Our next stop is Cairo. Then we're flying down to Aswan and going on a Nile cruise for a few nights. And I'll, I'll do another uh, video then. Thank you so much, guys. I'll leave links below, as always, to my Facebook group, Australian Property Mastery with PK, with over 40,000 amazing members who are deploying strategies like this to my podcast, Oz Property Mastery with PK, on Spotify, Google, and iTunes. And lastly, like I always say, before you spend that $50,000 on a property, make sure you understand that the most important real estate is not that $50,000 property, that $350,000 property, I should say, that the 50K enables, but rather the six inches between your two ears. There's no replacing investing in yourself. My name is VK, hit the subscribe button, give it a like. Thank you, I'll see you next time, bye.